What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix the problem when apps are not opening up properly or crashing on macOS. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. If you're having issues launching a specific application or if the app is randomly crashing, then you should first of all force quit the process on your Mac. To do so, you can use the shortcut Command and Q while having the app selected. Or click on the Apple icon on the top left of your screen and select Force Quit. A small window will show you a list of running applications. Select the correct one and then click on Force Quit. This will stop all processes related to the application and can, in some cases, already fix the app problem you are facing. Before reopening the app, it's suggested to make sure that you're running the latest macOS version. Open up your system preferences. On this window, click on Software Update. Here, you should be able to download the latest update in case there's one available to you. You will also be prompted to restart your Mac once the update is downloaded. Restarting your device can also fix crash and launch issues with applications. You can then Try to open up the application again. In case the problem persists, then you should also make sure that the app you're trying to use is up to date and not corrupted. If it's an App Store application, then you can simply open up your App Store. Here, on the left hand side, click on Updates. This will allow you to update all of your installed applications on your Mac. If it's not an App Store application, then you should still be able to update the app. Adobe applications can be updated through the Creative Cloud application and some apps like Discord will update automatically when they start up. Another common fix to crash issues is to ensure that you have enough available storage left for the application to run. Some apps and games write new data in the background and require some storage space to properly work. If you want to preview your current storage usage, then click on the Apple icon again and select About this Mac. In the Storage section, you can see how much storage your installed applications, files, music and photos are taking up. To quickly free up some storage, you can empty your bin, delete files in your Downloads folder or get rid of unused applications. Lastly, you should consider which peripherals and services the application you're trying to run is using. For example, some programs will not launch properly if you're using a VPN connection. Or some controllers will not work with specific games on your Mac and the app might just crash or not open up. Disconnecting all of your peripherals before launching the app can fix a lot of startup issues. In case you have any further issues or problems following this tutorial, then I suggest following my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.